you will not lie. Check this out. Y'all already know I don't motherfucking wait for shit. I'm noticing that with my own situation, right? There's nobody speaking up for the black fathers and telling them how this court system shit goes to where that they do have rights and you don't have to deal with your baby mama's bullshit. Not speaking bad about baby mama, so all you women do not even, if, if, if the shoe fit, wear the motherfucker, all right? But there's a lot of you women out here that use this fucking court system as your motherfucking leverage and use your children as fucking pawns in your game. And you're a fuck-ass bitch, and I'm saying it straight out. Because the only motherfucker that's gonna suffer in that situation while you telling the motherfucking your child, oh, the father been trying to get in touch and fucking wants to be in his life, but you just cut him out. Fuck you, you the bitch. You the only motherfucker that has to take fucking consequence for that shit that you fucking did and explain it to that child. Because once one day in their future, they may seek their parents out because why these children of today are very much more uh 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 and dinosaurs like me. I'm on the internet. We want to fucking do us too like we young. So your child is going to find the father. And he's going to tell them. It wasn't my fault. It was your mother's fault. She wouldn't let me see you. All that shit. So this here is for you black fathers out here. That think that motherfucking you don't have any rights. But let me tell you about something in Georgia. I don't give a fuck if you signed the birth certificate claiming that that's your child on the birth certificate. You still have no rights to your child until you go into the court system and it's called legitimization. Now, when you stand up in the front of the court and, and, and say legitimization, you present them with the DNA shit that you got from DNA fucking whatever the fuck. Right, let me put somebody on. Somebody wants to come on. Right, you put the you you go to the fucking thing, get the DNA. Right now, now you have rights to go say, well, Your Honor, listen, I want visitation with my child. And this is if you're not married in Georgia, this is what you you have to go through. You know what I'm saying. What's up, What's Shane? up, sir? <laughs> Look at my look at him. He looked like me before I got my shit fixed. Hold up, let uh, me show him something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <Right? nigga. laughs> Hey, but you know what, Shan? I love you with them or without them. I don't, know I don't care. You know that, right? So, so you yeah, my you man. Know. I love right? you too. Shit. That's what so, I say. Fuck them too. I don't care, man. I, from what do you have to I, add I don't know because I've never been in a situation like that. I'm hearing you. I'm like, holy shit, this is crazy. That's why I was like, damn, like, you know. Yeah. It happens, it's, sir. Yeah. It happens, sir. And as minorities, we think that the court system yeah. is not on our side. And I'm very glad that somebody on here can come on and say, well, I've never been there. I got four. How many children four. do you have? Yeah, I got four myself. Yeah, you've got four yeah. children, and because you went through this, what that tells me is that those four children you had never had them. They mama never had them no. fucking come chase no, you to always, fucking take care. I of. always came by, bought them diapers, bought them formula. You know everything they needed. They always had it, so I didn't have to. You know, you don't have to tell me this, and and I'm gonna re reiterate this. Because you've never been through any of the things that you hear me talking about, that lets me know off top that he took care yeah. of his children. His baby mama didn't have to go ask him for shit. Because, listen, you yeah. know how women are, and then they got friends yeah. that can spot you. Start getting things. in here, you know. Yeah, and you so, know. I, you, call them, I call them chatty caddies, man. And so, <laughs> now, look, in front of everybody, I want to do this for you. Bless, but you coming from Thank you because you, you know I got some of your records in my in my in my yeah. box, man. I got I got you. Uh, 
Well, get the record. I know, I know. No, no, no. But, We're not talking yeah, about yeah. me right now. Look, can I get mine off? Sir, I want to thank you for being one of those men that decided to put your children first before you put you. And fuck yeah, you, yeah, baby yeah. mama. I ain't saying it in a dis yeah. disrespectful way, but forget the fact you couldn't stick your dick in her pussy no more. And she got a new nigga, but yeah. you still took care yeah, of you. Exactly. Appreciate that. Especially coming that from you, I man. Commend you. And now we can talk about the shit that you want to <laughs> talk about. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, I got a couple records of yours. You know what record I be trying to find? I can't find it. I be trying to look for the bridge. I cannot find it nowhere, man. Not on vinyl, not on wax. You know what I'm saying? Look, let me tell you something. My daughter bought me oh, one. There's some out shit. there. My daughter wow. bought me one oh, for okay. my birthday. She knew and, and know what the dude that she bought it from sent her a note back and said, hold on, because her name is Shauna Moki and my name yeah. is Sean Moki. So he, hey, this is one of them people that used yeah, to read yeah. the credits, right? And so he was like, hold on, you're related uh -huh. to him. <laughs> you know, so he was yeah. kind of fucked up that my daughter got that that him yeah. to buy a record that I didn't but I didn't have it no more because I gave yeah. it to my friend yeah, because right. it didn't mean anything. Hey, exactly. That's dope, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. I mean, at least you found it. I found um I found your hip hop roughneck. I found that and bought that right away. That track. I remember that. That was Yeah, that's that was yeah. that was a cold chilling release. Yeah. Oh yeah. What I can't even no see mad. your name. What's your no name? Nomad two and five. No man, not no man. Let's get back to. I want you yeah, to yeah. reiterate because just because you have never been in that situation, I need you to talk to the brothers so that they can never get in that situation. Now, in my case, right, I've initiated every court case that I've got. I've mm. got custody right. of children where black men think that. Oh, you. Can I've got straight cut lyric. Why y'all think y'all seen lyric with me for the longest time? I got custody of her and her brother, but I wasn't gonna go ahead and motherfucking take both of them. I already yeah. took lyric and shit. You gonna fucking have a responsibility right. too, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't gonna just <laughs> fuck around. And so I got custody of my children from the court on paper. These two little children that you see a lot of y'all might have been on my last one but there's a lot of things that go on yeah. that i share on the internet my baby mom, it, it seems like every time i come she comes around she does things to me yeah. to try and fuck up yeah the that's not style that true. i have it's not my fault yeah. you didn't know how to fit in and i took you to court and what she says to me is, oh, you put me on paperwork. And I say, you're stupid because you don't understand me taking you to court, putting that paperwork out. That puts yeah. me on yeah, paperwork, you gonna... dumbass. <laughs> and what that paperwork says, right? Now, and she always threatens me, me with, oh, I'm going to go back to court. Now, peep it. what my paperwork says, if I was an uncaring father like you, which is why I commend you, because I do the same shit. Motherfucker, my paperwork says that I'm only obligated to get my children every other oh, weekend. Wow. Right? And birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the normal shit that comes along with yeah. the divorce no. or whatever, but I was never married. But since the day that that paperwork was signed, I take my children every weekend, every day that I can. And in the summertime, if y'all haven't been looking at what I do, I, I take them you on fishing and everything. You do it all. That's dope. Yeah. I commend you on that, man. That's dope. <laughs> and so, man. Yo, they, so look, you be cracking me up. You, Yo, you be, you be having me rolling sometimes with the kids, man. <laughs> you talking about, so who drank my soda? I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, shame about this snap. <laughs> <laughs> no. But look, but then my son said something to me. He thought that I was talking oh. about my whistles and shit. <laughs> 
Ain't nobody right. drank your whistles at me. I was like, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was all good. I was just right. fucking with them anyway and shit. Just to keep them in order. But if if anybody wants, to, if my baby mama wants to take me to court and say anything about me, this man takes yeah, care they of his children. Say. You don't have to ask him for anything. Yeah. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And so I let her go ahead and listen to her ghetto friends <laughs> and shit. At this point, I'm so sick of this baby mama shit, right? And I know so much about this court shit. So when you want a motherfucking court to talk about, oh, since you don't want to fuck with me, I'm going to put you on child support. Y'all niggas yeah. have heard this before. Here's what I say. Listen, you can go to child support all the fuck you want, <laughs> bitch. Right? Because when you get the child support and they call me, I'm going to say, yo, look, she ain't tell you I got this motherfucking court ordered mm -hmm. shit. See, child support can't be nah. a court once, ordered. Once you got that shit documented and all, it's over. They can't do nothing, man. It's a wrap. But, but you, it's not you even know what documented. The, 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 the key word, hold on. The key words is court mm -hmm. ordered by a judge. You she can't go back and go tell child support that you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. fuck you, child support. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. Now here's where it gets back to the baby mama, right? Because just like you had to go and pay to fucking stop them court proceed, I had to pay. It wasn't oh. free. That's how much I love my kids. I paid to yeah. fucking start that shit, got a lawyer and all that shit. And I didn't say a fucking word. I just yep. let the lawyer speak Dang. for me. Boom, boom, blah. So now I got my fucking joint custody, but she has physical custody, oh. which means they live Dang. with her Dang. primarily. But it's joint custody, so she can't no. tell me a fucking thing, bitch. I ain't got to talk to you. Whatever I do, nope. I ain't got to negotiate it. When you take them to doctors before you give them motherfuckers a fucking flu -bini -bini and be me a shot, uh you got to oh, yeah. ask me. Yeah, that's true. Stop letting these women out here fucking make you feel as a black individual or father that wants to do with your children that they have the fucking upper hand. This is why I did this shit, because a lot of us, that's why I say I make the Pink Elephant podcast, because there's a pink elephant mm -hmm. that nobody's willing to talk about. We all want to be glamorous, and we right. all want to be shiny. Just in the case, right. I pop my teeth in for you. But in reality, mm -hmm. this is what I see right. in the morning when I wake up. So why should I fool right. myself? to another reality if you figure you don't want to fuck with me because you don't see me smiling <laughs> at you bitch that's okay you're missing the point what point you're missing is that because i might not have a tooth in my house in my mouth you're okay. missing the knowledge and whatever i'm trying to spread to you for free that the other motherfuckers right. is not willing to talk about that's true that's facts man and what i want to do man out here, here you see this man here? This man. Tell him again how many children you have. <laughs> I got four, man. No, no, listen. I've got nine. Don't worry about that. <laughs> four and shit. Shut the fuck up. But check this out. But I'm the same as you. They no, never had to take I've never me been to court for that. I've been in court, court, but for other shit. Like nothing, nothing to do with children or, you know what I mean? This is the point that I'm trying to get to. Do y'all see this man down here? All of you fathers, he has four children. He's never had to been taken to court. He's his baby mamas probably love him to death because they didn't have to take him to court. Fuck you, motherfucking do your shit with your nigga. I don't give a fuck. Right. Let me see my kid. Be an example like this man. See, a lot of people think that celebrities are the shit. This man is a motherfucking hero. It. The average, Thank you. average everyday motherfucker that do what the fuck they do. Nobody ever wants to fucking talk about these men right here. Fuck celebrity. You. This man right here is he's like he first thing he got on my shit. What he said? He said, Shin, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, I, but right. it's real. And a lot of men out here, they don't know that that that, that motherfucking, you know, you don't feel by yourself. 
Talk to your man Shizzle, because I know all about this shit. Because now I'm going to tell you another word. After you go through this shit, like I went through my with my baby mama today, like she talking about, I'm going to take you to child support. There's a word that I don't even have to <laughs> fuck with her with. And it's called, listen, this is where you have to be fucking well-versed in this law shit when it comes to children, my man. All right, there's a word called guardian and litem. And what a guardian ad litem is, is where you're in a case where, ooh, who's the better parent, who's not the better parent. Okay, fuck all that. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm hiring a guardian ad litem. And what a guardian ad litem does is just like CPS does. They come to your house and they figure out who's who is more oh, okay. for the children. So... If you, as the father, know your shit is better and you willing to take your kids, but you let this bitch hold some shit over yeah. your head, fuck that. Guardian of light, bitch. Because now the guardian of light them going to come to your house and they're going to yeah. come to their house. They don't have no stake in the fucking child at all. They're going to say, well, yeah, we hear her, but he's more suitable for to uh take care of these children. He has different rooms. Maybe your children are living in a fucking room or in a space that the fucking court Shit. may not see suitable <laughs> for children yeah. as far as they're up on. And see, this is what guardian ad litem means. And so I'm trying to uh, just uh, expose some knowledge yeah. on my black yeah. folks, black men especially, because they say that we are the fucking most non. No, they can't because the statistics say that we are. But there's not a lot of brothers like me to pass this yeah. kind of information on. Yeah, that's dope. You get what I'm saying? So if you feel that you had enough of this shit, use the court system. I use the po man, you could call me a police call yeah. ass <laughs> motherfucker all you want. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Because here's how to go. You know how motherfuckers mm -hmm. can push you yeah. to the point. And I know. I grew up with motherfucking Clark Gable slacking me. <laughs> Something on fucking TV talking about <laughs> wake up! But now, baby, yeah, that we'll go to jail for that shit, bro. Right? So, <laughs> if I was to grab my baby mama and <laughs> take her and slap her on motherfucking face a couple of times and say, bitch, yep. I'm going to <laughs> jail. And so in these cases, right, my baby mama will come to my house, right? And when I and I only be amicable be, because of my children. It's not because yeah. I want to fuck yeah. or none of that shit, because I want my children the most normalist of life that they can, wet to a certain extent. So when you come here, I've got a paperwork when she starts that shit. I call the police, fuck it like I said I'm a police calling ass nigga because if I don't call, call the police, she gonna yeah. say one more thing and I'm gonna knock her motherfucking head off. And guess who gonna go to jail for domestic violence? Oh shit. Not me. Yeah. I'm never <laughs> nigga, you got that fucked up. So here's what it is. Remember, I told you I went to court oh, exactly. and I got that yeah. paperwork, right? That paperwork says that I live here. She got served at her address, which separates our addresses. You're not even supposed to be here. So when she fucks up, right? Let me show you how this shit work, my nigga. Y'all niggas think it's fucking crazy, nigga. Uh, yeah. All right, here's how it work. So now you, uh, simple as shit, yo, could you get out my face? My baby mama don't know what the fuck that mean. Get out my face mean, ooh, he loves me. He's arguing back with me. No, bitch, get out my face for <laughs> real. <laughs> I call the police, right? And here's what I do. When them motherfuckers show up, I walk out the front door and I just hand them niggas that court order shit that say she ain't supposed oh, to be my. here, right? Because, you know, don't never argue. Listen, don't never argue. Oh, no, no, that's never a good idea. Yeah. That's, that's not the yeah. place to fucking settle your argument. Your argument has yep. to be yeah, settled in court. Do it. And if the Officer comes to your house and he can't distinguish anything. He may just say, fuck both of you. You're all getting locked up. And so here's what I do. When he shows up after I call him, the only thing I do is I hand him the fucking paperwork that I have from the court that says she live here. She live, I live here. 
bitch ain't supposed to be here. Motherfucker, I hand it to him. I don't say another word. He reads it. He hands it back to me. He says, where is she at? Goes in mm -hmm. the motherfucking house. Talks to her. Da, da, da. Let's her know. Listen, you're a little bit inebriated. And if you decide, if he says that you can't stay here and you get in your car and you decide to drive, we're going to arrest oh, you for drunk driving. Yeah. I would never do that to my baby. I would never do that. That's the <laughs> fuck nigga shit. I don't want to see her fucked up. I just wanted to get the warning. Yeah, right. This is what it is. Never fuck with that. So now after the officer going there and talk to her, he'll come back outside and talk to me and say, listen, you already know what it is. She's a little bit inebriated. Can she stay here until the morning when she's able to? Of course. I don't want my children to see me put my baby mama in jail. And so that's what it is. But what I needed at that point, because I have that paperwork to tell that bitch to shut up and don't say another motherfucking word to me tonight because he done already warned you that a bitch, if we come back in, so many words, yeah, your yeah. ass is gone. Right? We just nigga alone. I say, yo, it's all right. As long as you told her that when I say get the fuck out of my face, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. And after that, it's all fine. But see, I don't hate my baby mama. Yeah. She's a fucked yeah. up motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with me. And it's nothing. To, it's just because of the way people, men have done yeah. her for me. I'm just not them. And I'm not willing to fucking take the heat for niggas yeah. that did some fuck nigga shit before me. I don't cheat on you, bitch. I'm in the house all day. I'm not going to let you come in here fucking telling me what bitch you talking yeah. to. <laughs> fuck you. That's, yeah. I'm not doing it. And that's just who the fuck she is. Mm. So, bitch, you fuck out of here. All right. I'm not saying I want to see something fucked up with my baby mom. I want to see her happy. Okay. Go f Look, my baby mama thinks that she's God's gift to man. I sent that package back three motherfucking <laughs> times, motherfucker. The shit keep coming back to me. Wow. Turn the center. I'm like, motherfucker, would y'all please find the fucking yeah. nigga that this gift to man was fucking made for? <laughs> Damn sure ain't me. Wow. This is crazy, right? And you want to know what's fucked up, right? Women will look at me and they'll talk bad about me and say, that's fucked up for him. But y'all don't understand the shit y'all say about y'all men and we supposed to just take that shit. Yeah, Fuck y'all yeah. bitches with that shit, nigga. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all how it is. Y'all motherfuckers think that, oh, pussy nope. rule the rap. Bitch, I got a fucking bottle of jerks and I'll Fuck you and your friend and three of her cousins in the same motherfucking night with the same bottle of jerkin, <laughs> nigga. I'm 58 years old. Cause I learned motherfucking after I fucked all y'all bitches. I ain't got to send you home in a cab. Right. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't even got to go get the rack right. and wipe your pussy, shorty. Fuck you. If I want to wipe my motherfucking dick on a t-shirt and go to sleep with the lotion till this morning, that's right. my motherfucking business. <laughs> and fuck you, bitch. Stop thinking that your business yeah. is worth yeah. money. It goes like this. Let me tell them the rule. Fucking with your man shizzle. I fuck you. You fuck me. We even. After that, anything is negotiable and shit, but I ain't paying your phone bill, right? Because now, motherfucking bitch, I'm going to send you to right. get them niggas that you fucking <laughs> send you to pay your phone bill. Call me when them niggas put that shit back on. And then when your light bill go off, I'm going to send you to fuck them niggas that motherfucking uh, right. pay your light bill to keep your lights back on. And I'm going to send you to fuck the niggas that motherfucker like, bitch, I said fuck that. I can right. get a nut by myself, bitch. Fuck you. What the fuck? What's he worth to me? So you better recognize that we gonna motherfucking have a good experience together, right. bitch. And anything after that is negotiable, motherfucker. Look, your pussy don't got no value over here, motherfucker. I'm 58 years old, nigga. I know how to touch my dick in 2.3 seconds and bust a nut all over your <laughs> face with my eyes closed. <laughs> fuck out my face. Oh, champ, what are you saying? Nigga, I'm Man. telling you some real shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Try and control you with pussy. Right. Nigga, wait till you get my age. We get nigga, to a fuck point. out of here. 
where yeah, like that no. shit don't even Go that ahead. shit don't even like don't bother us anymore. You know what I mean? Because you know I don't know. I'm I'm 42, so but I've been around. You know what I mean? So not like that, but I'm just saying like it gets to a point like you saying like. You could have been mm, around like you that. Know. Nobody can judge you. I've been around like that. I have some chicks in country, states. Hell, oh, you, especially when you've been shit. touring. I know because like you toured a lot back in the day, so I already know. Like, <laughs> Shane, like, yep. <laughs> oh, look. So this is what I tell him. Oh, you want to tantalize me with this neighborhood pussy bitch? You better shut the fuck up. I had bitches in Tahiti. Right. Shut the fuck up. You fucking trying to make this neighborhood pussy. How many niggas in the whole fuck you before I Who got Who knows, you? right? Shut the fuck Who up, knows? bitch. I had this. Yeah. All right? <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't give a but, fuck. Who knows? Don't try and play me like your pussy some gold <laughs> shit, bitch. Your shit been in the hood. And the only reason why you got a $600 hairdo is because you don't fuck two or three niggas. Unless you're a real self-sufficient woman that does all that shit for yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, motherfucker, you can't come to me and ask me about no motherfucking six hundred dollar, three hundred dollar weave, and your motherfucking clothes is twenty dollars at the fucking beauty yeah. supply store, bitch. Yeah. Oh, like I don't see that shit. You go take that shit to another sucker. Well, I ain't gonna even say another sucker. Take that <laughs> shit to a, a sucker. Period. Your motherfucking look. This is what I'm saying for y'all. Her outfit is not worth fucking twenty dollars. Ten for the top, ten for the bottom. Y'all see that tight ass yeah. legging shit that they be wearing? You be looking at like, <laughs> nigga, that shit ten dollars at the motherfucking right. beauty supply store. So if you gonna be a dick that run into a chick that you like how she's shaped and that shit and ba 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 and her hair done good. I don't want to meet no chick like that. You know why I want to meet a chick? I want to meet the chick that motherfucking come out in the morning with her hair bonnet on and a t-shirt and some sweatpants to go get fucking cereal for the kids. Because that's why I'm mm -hmm. real, motherfucker. That's what you want. You don't want a motherfucker wake up tomorrow, motherfucking two weeks later when she take that oh, weed shit. out, nigga. That ain't really what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm nah. That ain't really what you want. That ain't really what you want. And so my thing is I'd rather catch a woman in her oh, yeah. natural state other than at a fucking club or somewhere. I'd rather see you just motherfucking walking the dog on a regular right. fucking basis and shit. Where you ain't try to make yourself up. And women, y'all don't understand, motherfucker. You think all that shit, nigga, the sexiest shit to me anyway is to fucking see you in my t-shirt washing the dishes with no motherfucking panties right. on. Because after them dishes is finished and he see the last glass go over that bitch, I'm <laughs> bending you over the sink, motherfucker. I don't watch you long enough. Right. We about to get it, nigga, right here. <laughs> so all that fly shit, that shit don't right. mean shit. Not to me, nigga. Especially if I meet you somewhere and you looking like, ooh, ooh, ooh. bitch, I know when I wake up in the morning, the bitch I met last night going to be on my pillow. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck out of here. Y'all niggas seen them yeah. niggas and make over on fucking man. The internet. Listen, women are But listen, this is not to say, this is not to say that just because you are not appealing to somebody, you're made for somebody that, that that's you you're not smart and you're not worthy and shit. But it's you're the motherfuckers that are fooling niggas, motherfucker. Cause in the morning when that fucking face that he met last night is on his oh, fucking pillow. Oh man. <laughs> that's the misconception that you could that's worse than you having a yeah dick passing yourself off as yeah, a Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> No yeah. offense to my dick yeah. having chips, all right? <laughs> I like to make shit fun yeah. and not offensive, so yeah, don't take no. that. So my mic is... Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I love y'all. Check this out. I love Glad you too, Shane, man. Yeah, Appreciate thank you, man. Son. And as I close out, like I said, a lot of you men... This man down here is a fucking hero. He's no celebrity. 
but he's a fucking celebrity to his fucking four children that he never had to go to court for and never had to be brought in front of anybody to tell him how to take care of his motherfucking children. He's a Appreciate fucking that, hero. Man. Thank Fuck you, rap motherfucking hero. Fuck all that. Other than this motherfucker, look at me as a motherfucking oh, yeah. daddy motherfucking and take care of his kids. But that nigga is a hero before me because y'all niggas look at me some type of fucking celebrity, whatever, which gives me a different class. But I'm going to tell you what, regular motherfuckers, and I'm not being disrespectful, motherfuckers that just live their life and love their children. This man is a fucking hero. And I love you. And thank you for being there for your kids. And you know your man yeah, yeah, was emotional, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, yeah. no, thank, thank you, you man. Sir. Appreciate you. I'm getting out of here because this nigga trying to make me nah, look like you're a good. bitch ass nigga. On you're good, Shane. I love you too, man. Trust me. But I appreciate you, nigga. This is because I got a heart and I feel yeah. for children. You see what I'm saying? So shit like you do is what I I want others to do. And so say what oh, you want about shit. Man, man, listen, you know we're saying? all men. You know that. That's just, you know. What makes me a man because I have a heart and I love what you do. And you're a fucking you. hero. All right? Uh, you welcome. Appreciate you. I'm going uh, to your blood. Appreciate you. I'm the most kindest ass uh, you're right. on the internet. <laughs>